Hi, everyone. Um, hi. I'm here to talk to you about some of the new books. Now, unfortunately, I actually haven't read any of these, so I'm going from blurbs um, and also knowledge of authors. So the first one I'm going to talk to you about, at once, I should say that these are all for the older readers, probably year four to six. So first one, middle school's a drag, uh, you better work. Now, this one is written by an author who is known for his writing around LGBTQIA+. Um, characters and this one is no different so it's about a young boy whose parents or father or grandfather are great entrepreneurs so have businesses and he's trying to build up his own business um, and nothing seems to work but then he comes across um, a character at his middle school who was in year eight and um, this child is a drag Queen, Mistress of Madness and Mayhem, aka 8th grade Julian Vasquez. And so this is about uh, Mikey, yep, Mikey, um, setting up his own talent agency and what they get up to. It looks like a lot of fun. So that one might be a good one if you like fun books um, and seeing what kids can get up to. Now, this one I've just picked up because it's by Alison Rushby. Now, Alison Rushby is one of Australia's better known. Um, mystery writers but she tends to write in the past so it's historical mis mysteries um, with these delightful characters and just from the back it says uh, forever in trouble for sketching in her notebook Penny Pickering's dreams of her famous authoress aunt turning up at her boarding school and whisking her away so when Aunt Harriet appears at Miss Strickland's school for girls of an inquiring mind and asks Penny if she would like to join her on an adventure Penny knows exactly what to say. Yes, please. Penny soon finds herself headed for Hampshire and a strange place called Mr. Toddington's Museum of Curious and Absurd, where bewitched kittens are said to have a tea party at midnight. But not all is as it seems. And this is a new one in a series. Um, so if you like mystery and you like a little bit of darkness, this one might be for you. Next one, I, love, I actually have read this one, Cranky Chicken. I can't remember if I've talked about it, but we have another copy in the library. This is just really funny. It is a graphic novel. It's about a chicken who befriends a worm, and chicken is grumpy and worm is not, and worm manages to turn chicken around to stop from being cranky to being happy, I suppose. It's just really lovely book. I guess a little bit like the Elephant and Piggy series. Uh, this one here, How to Be a Prime Minister and Survive Fifth Grade, is about a young girl whose father um, becomes Prime Minister and he does something embarrassing and disappears and the little girl, uh, the girl and her sister, um, has to take over running the country from her dad's mobile phone. The Way of the Dog, if you like crying, this is a book for you. Now I say that because I started reading this and I had to put it down. It's about a dog um, who is a puppy in uh, what's known as a puppy farm. So um, pet stores and adults, sometimes what they do is they have dogs that they lock up in cages and they get them to keep producing puppies. Um, and then when the, the puppies are then sent out to be um, sold, uh, and sometimes puppies don't, are not wanted and it's you know not nice things happen to them um and this is what happens when a little boy rescues one of these puppies from a, a puppy farm um so if you like sad this one's for you uh it's also written in verse so it doesn't take so long to read um Zana Fralin is actually known for her um books that really make you think about society and how we treat each other uh, this one here, I don't know this author, Samantha Ellen Bound. Uh, this is a fantasy novel about a young girl who is rescued from her boring aunt's house and taken to her uncle's where she discovers these um, doors into other lands and it's about adventures. So I guess it would be a bit like um, maybe if you like Nevermore, it might be a book that you, you like. So one of those kind of magical adventure stories. Um, I'm just trying to think. There's a Emily wrote a one that I can't remember the name of. There's also a series of them. So, yeah, if you like fantasy, this one might be for you. Uh, Edge of 13. Now, I picked this one up, Nova Wheatman. Nova Wheatman is known, I know her from Sick Bay. Sick Bay is this fantastic story of a young girl 
uh, in a school who spends a lot of time in sick bay because she's just not coping in class and she befriends another girl from the school who has diabetes and it's just a beautiful story about life in year six so um, Nova Whitman tends to write about those kinds of issues and this one is no different so this is about a young girl um, in I'm just trying to think well she's on the age of 13 so she'd be in year six and just what life is about and what she has to do so just the end says Clem Timmons can't wait to see her best friends after being apart all summer long but when they get back together, things have changed. Bridge is boy crazy and acting like a different person. Ellie is wearing a bra and having a real life romance. Clem feels left behind. When she makes friends with Tom, suddenly everyone's, a goss a everyone's gossiping about whether they're going to be a couple. Clem's got no interest in having a boyfriend, or does she? At school camp, Bridge crosses the line and Clem has to make a decision. Can she keep growing up with her friends when they're growing apart? Okay, so it's all about growing up and being a teenager this one is a similar one um pip harry she wrote a book a few years ago that i really adored so i'm really looking forward to reading this one and this one's about a young girl whose um, mother goes to an ashram in india and leaves her alone um, and she has to try and work out um, who she is and what she wants to do um, in her first year of high school so this one's you know probably for year five six kids and if you read the back it says Bridget B Ballantyne is 12 and starting her first year of high school in the beach suburb of Crescent Bay still reeling from the departure of her mother for an ashram in India B talks to Buddha and begs for her first period not to arrive she's not ready to become a woman yet whatever that means okay um, and so it goes on Okay, and the last one that I'm going to talk about is this one, Me, My Dad and the End of the Rainbow. Um, now, this one is another one that covers, um, talks about LGBTQIA+. Plus. Um, it's an LGBTQIA plus story um, about a family that's falling apart and not really, the little boy not really being sure why and what's happening. So the back says, are you ready for a rainbow coloured joy filled adventure? My name's Archie and I know two things for certain. My mum and dad kind of hate each other and two, they're keeping a big secret from me. All Archie wants is for them to be a happy family again. But then he overhears dad's secret and his dream is blown apart. When a colourful fly falls out of dad's pocket, Archie thinks he may have found the answer. Only problem. That answer might just lie at the end of the rainbow. Okay, so this one's just a, a lovely, true, well, true to life kind of book, um, just about families and how we, we learn to be who we are. I hope that gives you some insight into what's in the library at the moment, and I really hope that people can come in and ask for these books. And if you are a parent or a student at our school, um, and there's something that you'd really like to see in the library, please let me know. Thanks for listening. Bye.